Is that a real service dog or an imposter? Hey guys, so for a while now, people have been passing off their dogs as service dogs so they can bring them anywhere they want. A service dog is specially trained to help people with disabilities. They help the blind or people who are hard of hearing. They even do rescue work and if a person is injured, they can retrieve things like a phone. In some cases, they can also help people with psychiatric disabilities and provide emotional support. The list goes on. Service dogs are amazing. And now that people are trying to pass off their own, it's causing a lot of problems for the disabled. All it takes to pass off your dog as a service animal is a vest or a badge and apparently you can buy a fake one online. You may wonder how does one pass off their dog as being a service animal without it being certified. Assessment and identification is not a legal requirement. I'm sure there's mixed feelings about this topic, so I decided to go around the office to see what people think about it. Let's go. I assume it's similar to having a fake uh, handicap permit. It kind of ruins the whole system for everyone else that really needs a dog. I think it's kind of messed up for uh, you know people that actually have disabilities and need help with their dog or help from their dogs. These people who are using fake identification for their service dogs are essentially taking away the independence of people who really need it. The fake service dog, I think it's an outrage. Yeah. I think it's, it really like it, it dilutes it for everyone else. So if I told you that I could like for 50 bucks I could get you one, would you would you take it? No, because I mean, if I'm blind and I need a service dog, of course that's, you know, that's permitted. But if I want to cut in line at Disneyland, I don't think that that's, uh, that's right. I know a lot of my friends have breeds that uh, aren't really accepted in a lot of cities, which are pit bulls. And I know a lot of them don't fake them as service dogs, but they do get um, their dogs to be real service dogs so they can take them, you know, every place that all the other dogs can go. I don't think that there should be any sort of segregation on that. I think that there should be more of an acceptance of these types of animals, but that people shouldn't have to feel that they need to exploit these, you know, rules and regulations in order to have their animals as part of their life. So it seems like people have mixed feelings about fake service dogs. What do you guys think? Should we dive more into this? Let me know in the comments below. Be sure to check out our other episodes over here. And uh, don't forget to subscribe. Let me know if I'm doing a good job and what you guys want to see. Huh? Come on. Test me. Give me a little test over here. All right, I'll see you, Harry Mammals, uh, tomorrow. Peace out, dog. Yeah. A-Town. Uh-uh. Uh-uh.